After a 21-10 loss to Montini last week, the 2-2 Bennett Red Wings are back on the road as they take on another team sitting at 500, the De La Salle Meteors. This is the first matchup between these schools since 2019, a game in which Bennett came out victorious 35-7. Nearly midway through the first quarter, Bennett has the ball near midfield. They run play action and that gets the defense leaning one way and QB Ryan Kubaki Jr. keeps it. He bounces off a couple of defenders before he's knocked out of bounds well into De La Salle territory. Later in the drive, Kubaki Jr. rolls out to his left and throws it on the run to the sideline. That's Rocky Rosanova with the catch, run, and dive into the pylon for the score. Bennett strikes first as it's 7-0 with just under five minutes left in the first quarter. Moving on to the second quarter, the Red Wings have the ball again. Charlie Kane takes the handoff and then absorbs a hard hit that jars the ball loose. It bounces off the turf and right into the hands of Miles Green. He spins off a tackle and then heads up field with a group of teammates. He cruises into the end zone, putting the Meteors on the board. With a missed extra point, Bennett remains on top, 7-6. Fast forward to the second half and De La Salle has a fourth down and the punter is on the field. Caleb Navarro tries to boot it away, but the strong push by Bennett's Joe Rohde causes it to deflect up and back into Meteor territory. The ball is down near the 20-yard line, giving the Red Wings excellent field position. Just a few plays later, Kubaki Jr. keeps it on another play-action call. He steps inside and then jukes out a couple of defenders before crossing the goal line. After a failed extra point, Bennett is on top 13-6 with 3.06 left in the third quarter. Now in the fourth, the Meteors still trail by one touchdown. Keontae Lewis drops back to pass, fires to his left, and Rocky Rosanova jumps the route. He finds the end zone for the second time in the game, but this time as a defender. Bennett goes up 20-6. Moments later, Daniel Flores kicks the ball downfield, where Miles Green is ready to return it. Green heads towards the middle of the field, breaks through the initial phase of Red Wings, and then with a couple of quick cuts, he is all by himself. He glides into the end zone for the second time tonight, immediately answering Bennett's score. It's 20-12 Red Wings with a little over seven minutes left in the fourth. About a minute and a half left in the game, De La Salle is faced with fourth down, and after the pocket breaks down, Lewis begins to scramble to extend the play. He's able to break around the edge and squeeze up the sideline just enough for the first down. The Meteors are still alive with just over a minute to play. There's now 30 seconds left and another fourth down for De La Salle. Lewis runs to his left again and he's racing for the sideline once more. This time Daniel Flores forces him out of bounds and the refs determine that he is short of the marker. The Red Wings realize that it is the nail in the coffin and begin to celebrate. Bennett wins 20-12 and improves to 3-2 on the season. We started off rough. I mean, we couldn't get anything going on offense, but defense was playing a great game. And once halftime rolled around, we knew our defense had to kick in overdrive and just really help us out on offense. And once that got going, the momentum switched and we really got going. Defense this week just locked in. The last two weeks, we had some trouble with the pass game and playing those two tough opponents. I mean, we had to lock in, and this week we really proved uh, who we are as a defense. I think uh, we executed it pretty well, but I think there's some things we could, um, I could fix personally and we could fix, but I felt pretty confident about our plan going in. So. And we uh, just keep rolling through and keep, keep our plan going and just keep going, you know.